Welcome back to Bear Mountain Builds, and today I'm going to show you how to build this assembly slash outfit table. I'm in love with it, and I think you will be too. Now, I'm on an unyielding journey towards an awesome shop, so the project I'm going to do today is going to fix two problems. One, my assembly space sucks. All I have is this skinny table back there and the floor. Two, that's my table saw back there. It's covered in stuff and it's really hard to get out, so I'd like to make it easier to access. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building an assembly table with my table saw embedded in it. It's going to be big, it's going to be strong, and it's going to be beautiful. Let's get going. I always run my 2x4s through the planer. You don't have to, but it gives a relatively inexpensive board a more finished look. I'm starting off with cutting boards to length for the legs. Okay, so I've got all my legs cut to length, now it's time to put them together. I've got a lap joint on either end, and then I'm just gonna glue and screw them on. Let's get going. Now, I've used this leg design before and I really like it. It's super strong and really easy to build. Alright, so it's time to start building the frame. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my two end legs along with my eight foot boards, make that square, and then add my two interior legs on top of that. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Let's get going. Today's a big day. I just got these silicon silly brushes. No more will I have to spread glue with my finger or a piece of cardboard. I'm pre-drilling holes and using two and three quarter inch construction screws for most of this assembly. I'm spacing these legs to allow for drawers in the middle and some larger item storage on one end and then space for the table saw on the other. Alright, I got both my side frames done, they're glued and screwed, and I gotta say, the fronts are looking pretty clean, not a screw to be seen. Now, onto the cross pieces.
Hey, pro tip, if you don't have a long enough clamp, use a ratchet strap. Now, it looks like I forgot a board, but I'm leaving an opening for the saw platform. I really want my table to be rock solid and flat. So I'm putting in a lot of cross member supports and each of these have two to three pocket holes going up to screw into the tabletop. All right, so I got the entire table's frame done. Now I'm gonna put on these four inch wheels because once I get this plywood on, it's gonna be super heavy and I don't wanna have to flip it over later. So let's get going. I recommend starting lag bolts with an impact driver, but finish torquing them by hand to make sure you don't tear out the hole. This bad boy handles like a table half its size. Okay, so I need to start with my bottom first because my plywood will come in and fit around the legs like this, which means I actually need to notch my plywood. Now how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna lay it on top up here and then I'll trace around each leg here. And by doing that, I can then use my jigsaw, cut out a notch, slide it in, and my plywood should fit really easy on the bottom. Let's get going. Now I really want my tabletop to be rock solid with no flexing, so I'm gonna be using two layers of three quarter inch plywood. But I also really want my table to look good, so my top layer is gonna be a birch veneer plywood. That way it gives it a really nice clean look after I'm done with it. All right, so I've got my base layer here. I'm gonna load this up with glue, and then I'm gonna put my top layer on that, and then clamp the heck out of it. Should be pretty easy. I'm gonna bring in a second pair of hands for loading the glue because I got a lot of surface area to cover. Let's get going. The boards were just slightly out of alignment, so I used my circular saw to clean up the edges.
Now there are a lot of pocket screws, but this table is going to be really solid. Now I'm going to be taking this maple board that's 9 feet by 6 inches, putting it through my table saw and turning it into 3 1 and 3 8 inch strips. I'm attaching these trim pieces with glue and one and three quarter inch brad nails. I ran them long and trimmed the ends flush with my pole saw. To make things a bit more hand friendly, I broke the edge with a three eighths inch round over bit. I did a test slot for the T-Track and I gotta tell ya, I nailed it first try. Now when you're routing out T-Track, you gotta be pretty precise. And you know the old saying, measure twice, cut once? Well I'm more of a measure four, maybe five times, cut once kind of guy, so this is right up my alley. Now, I really took my time since I'm taking out a lot of material in a single pass and wanted to make sure that the cut came out clean. I am wearing a dust mask and eye protection but dust collection is definitely a major issue in my shop that I'll have to address soon. That fireworks show you just saw was me routing into one of my pocket screws. So I got a new bit, let's keep going. I'm rounding out the perimeter of the knockout for the table saw and finishing it off with the jigsaw. I needed to clean up the edge, so I used a flush trim bit incorrectly, but it worked. The birch was actually in pretty good shape, so I did a quick sanding with 220 grit to prep for the first coat of poly. I didn't want poly to get into the slots, so I installed the T-Tracks first with drywall screws and covered them with tape. Now, I've got my first coat of poly down, it's sanded and it's looking really good, and I'm going to be doing a second coat later, but first I'm going to be putting in my table saw. I'm going to be doing that by dropping in my platform and then putting my table saw on there and then making it all level with the top. Let's keep going. The saw platform consists of two 5 8 inch pieces of plywood glued together. I 
had everything in place, and then I realized I measured wrong. So take two. I'm positioning the saw platform so that the top of the table saw is an eighth of an inch above the surface of the table. So I'm planning on adding drawers to my table, but this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to be doing that in another video, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Now applying the first coat of poly took a while by myself, so I brought in another set of hands to help speed up the process on the second coat. It was purely for efficiency reasons. finished off mounting the saw with some lag screws. With the saw in place, this assembly table is done. Take a look. This project was a lot of fun and I'm really happy with how this table turned out and I think it's going to be a great addition to the workshop and I'm really looking forward to using it on other projects. Now speaking of other projects, I've got more coming so you should hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my videos and if you enjoyed this project, hit the like button for me, it helps me out a lot and leave a comment. I'm still pretty new to YouTube so I'd like to hear what you guys think about everything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Two by fours are really inexpensive, and I can do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anyway.